I usually use this immersion water heater to heat water for bathing. I have to make sure I switch it off exactly after 10 minutes or 15 minutes based on how hot I want the water to be. To avoid this waiting to switch off the heater, I made a smart device which can automatically switch off the heater after 10 minutes or 15 minutes or whatever time I want I can program it and it will switch off after that time. Let's see how I make it. For this I'm using an Arduino Nano and this is the code I designed for it. Here I'm taking inputs from 8 and 9 pin which will tell the system if it should switch off after 10 minutes or 15 minutes. There's one more pin from input pin 10 which will tell when to start the timer. Once I set up the 10 minutes or 15 minutes timer, I'll press on this to start the timer. The link to the code is placed in the description of this video. Once I compiled the code, I dumped it into this Arduino Nano board. For powering up my circuit, I'll be using this 12 volts 1 amp adapter. First I'll start by opening it up. I'll remove the top cabinet as I don't want it to take extra space. I desolder the power supply wires. Next let's work on the body of our circuit. This plastic box with a hole on top will form the cabinet of my circuit. I made this hole big enough to fit a 3 pin socket here. The heater can be connected to this one. I also made sure that the box is big enough to fit all the parts inside that is the power supply, the Arduino Nano, the socket and a relay. This is a high power relay rated at uh, 40 amps at 250 volts. I made sure this is powerful enough to handle the heater which is almost like 1000 to 2500 watt. So as you can see all parts can fit inside easily inside this box. Next I went ahead and fixed the socket to the box using screws and added some hot glue for extra strength. The power supply I'm using here is of 12 volts. So to reduce the voltage to 5 volts for Arduino Nano, I'm using a 7805 voltage regulator here. The relay I'm using in this project is of 12 volts. So that is the reason I chose 12 volts power supply instead of 5 volts directly. I have soldered the output of the power supply that is 12 volts DC to the input of this voltage regulator. Here I'm taking this 3 pin socket with wire. I'll strip all the wire and connect the neutral wire and the ground wire directly to the socket. The live wire or the face wire will not go directly to the socket. It will go to the relay and the relay will be controlling the connection from that wire to the socket. This is based on the nano. While connecting the neutral wire to the socket, I made sure that one of the wires from the AC wires of the power supply is connected along with this wire. Next I connected 3 1 kilo ohm resistors to the 8th, 9th and 10th pin of the nano. The other end of these resistors will be connected to the ground. Next I connected a 330 ohm resistor to the 13th pin of the nano. This will be the output which will control the relay. I joined all the other ends of the 1 kilo ohm resistors and connected a wire to the ground. Next I soldered the other end of the 330 ohm resistor onto this PCB. This will be connected to the base of a transistor which will be controlling the relay. I have also soldered wires from the V in and the ground of this Arduino Nano to the output of the voltage regulator. Next I connected two wires to the relay input. One wire will be going directly to the 12 volts positive and the other wire will be connected to a transistor's collector pin. The emitter pin of the transistor will be directly connected to the ground. Next I soldered the wire coming from the 3 pin plug AC should be connected to the common AC input of the relay. The other end of the wire of the power supply AC which we left initially open should be connected to this pin. Next I soldered a wire to normally open pin of the relay. The other end of this wire will be going to the 3 pin socket. 
Next I use some hot glue to fix all the parts inside this plastic box so that they don't move. I'll be using this toggle switch to toggle between 10 minutes and 15 minutes timer. The center pin of this switch is connected to 5 volts DC and the wires on the other side will be connected to 8 and 9 pin of the Arduino Nano. I made a hole into the plastic box to fix the switch. Next I soldered all the 3 wires to the Nano and 5V DC. I'll be using this push button to start the timer. The 2 wires coming from this push button will go to the 10 pin on the Nano and the other wire will go to the 5V DC. I'll make one more hole on the box to fix this switch. While testing I noticed that the second wire from the power supply AC I connected to the face of the socket because of which the circuit never switched on when I plugged it. So I'll remove this and connect it to the face wire coming from the 3 pin plug that is soldered to the relay. Here as you can see I soldered that wire to the relay. Now I covered the whole thing with some insulation tape to avoid any short circuits. While testing, I noticed that the relay was turning on and off continuously when I switched it on. This was due to bad filtering. So I connected this 100 microfarad capacitor to the output of the 5V regulator. This stopped the problem. So this is how it looks after completion. Before closing the box, I made sure that all connections are insulated properly. As you can see, when I switch it on and press on this on button, the second LED glows. Initially, if you see here, there's only one LED on. When I flip the toggle switch and press on this start button or start timer button, it will switch on the second LED. The second LED is indicates that the power is going to relay and relay is turned on. I have painted top of this box with some brown paint to make it look little better. Now I'm going to fix this to the wall near the socket. I'm using hot glue to stick this box to the wall. You can also use double sided tape as long as it holds the weight of this box everything should be fine. As you can see I have also plugged the unit to the socket and the box is fixed quite firmly. Now let's connect the water heater to it and test it. As you can see I have connected the heater but it's not yet switched on. And here if you see I have even marked the 10 minutes and 15 minutes just above and below the uh, toggle switch. Before placing the heater into the water and testing, I am using a tester here to make sure that there is no power flowing to the body of the heater before it's switched on uh, so that the, we can make sure that the connections are made properly. Now I will place the heater into the water bucket. And now I'll switch on the unit. So first I'll switch on the plug here. And then as you can see there's a power LED glowing. I'll place it in 10 minutes and now I'll press on start timer button. So here as you can see the heater is switched on. Now let's wait for 10 minutes and see if it switches off. So almost 9 and a half minutes are over. Let's wait and see if it switches off exactly at 10 minutes. There you go, as you can see it exactly switched off after 10 minutes. That means our unit is working as expected. Make sure to switch off the unit once the water is heated and it's turned off. So that's all for today's video. If you like this video, you might like some of my other videos too. Please check them out at Electronics Made Easy Khadr. Till then, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.